Shalom, shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you, sincere, around you, hopeful elect, scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth, around your fellow servant, Malachia. All right, coming in with another lesson today. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get into this lesson because, you know, it just sparked my spirit here, um, you know, on my lunch break. And, um, yeah, uh, the time of testing, <laughs> hey, it's, 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 it's quickly approaching, all right, on this whole world. And uh, I remember we was going into it yesterday at camp for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a test, okay, like the scripture says. We just go ahead and get it. Um, so it's getting ready to the Lord is getting ready to try the whole world. All right. And you know, the, the true question is, all right, have you done all all right to be able to stand within that day? Okay, because hey, the Lord is about to bring all right hell upon this earth, man, and he's getting ready to use Esau Edom, all right, to bring out these judgments. All right, uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, and verse 10. It reads, it, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay? This is the encompass of the whole earth. All right, that the Lord is about to try everyone on the earth. And he's gonna he's going to use all right the so-called white man to do it. All right, mainly chiefly these elites, all right, and them getting ready to uh enter in and uh usher in uh their NWO. Okay, so like going into you know, hence the title, all right, have you done all all right to be able to withstand all right in that day? All right, so I got a couple of scriptures that came to mind. I want to go ahead and get into it. Um, let's start off in the book of, let me see, in the book of, let's start off here in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 15. All right, because before, you know, you take a test, Okay, you have to study. Okay, you have to get yourself prepped up for it. All right, because you're gonna be looking uh, 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 crazy when that time comes. All right, when all right, this big test getting ready to come upon the whole earth. All right, have you been studying? All right, have you been uh, experienced? All right, have you been exercised? All right, within these different practice tests that the Lord has been giving us. All right, have you been failing them? And failing them and failing them have you not uh, uh learned all right from the mistakes all right that you got on these uh tests all right so the times that the well, as many times the lord has put you through these many tests all right have you can you sincerely say in your heart have you been able to pass all right some of these tests that the lord has given you all right because these are the tests that the lord gives us to ultimately to build up our faith all right, because if you keep failing the test and the same test back to back to back, I mean, you're not listening, all right, to the spirit, you're not growing, okay? And when that time of testing come, when the, when the temptations start to come, the Lord may try you by one of those tests. And if you didn't pass in the time before all this hell uh, breaks loose, all right, who's to say that the Lord is, is gonna be with you in that time, all right? Because you was bullshitting, you you didn't really take uh, 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 these practice tests serious, all right? Because this big test, all right, you don't want to fail it, all right? Because if you fail it, all right, the only thing that's that's gonna be uh, uh, waiting for you, all right, is these missiles. If you fail this test, okay, death, all right, agony, crying, moaning, gnashing of teeth, all right, because you didn't take heed. All right, until the test of what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is laid, all right, there in front of you. Okay? So, this is why we got to be uh, always indulged within the spirit, always uh, constantly reading, 
all right constantly uh, uh studying uh, uh everything all right looking at all the things that happened of old and all right and see it, how the lord delivered those men okay because the lord's getting ready to make some uh miraculous uh, uh miracles all right in this time to come all right we was going a little bit uh on it yesterday at the camp okay the lord's gonna feed his uh his men all right so you got to have the, the the mindset to and, and have uh, uh, uh enough faith all right to believe on the words all right of yahweh shim yahweh all right because it's the lord putting us through these tests to build us up for this time to come all right uh let's jump to uh what was that second timothy 2 and verse 15 study to show thyself approved unto the most high a workman that needeth not to be ashamed all right because it's going to be a lot of people that's going to be ashamed because they didn't truly study they didn't truly take these uh practice tests serious all right these tests are very serious it may seem very small all right to you and probably you know you're not really thinking about it but every test that the lord gives you is very important all right because it's going to uh, uh, uh help you in the time to come going back in second Timothy 2 and verse 15 study to show thyself approved unto the most high all right listening all right obedience okay to yahweh bashim yahweh to be found worthy of yahweh bashim yahweh all right in your studies all right are you examining yourself are you examining the tests all right you're going back over these tests more and more all right this is how you know you're going to keep passing these tests that the Lord gives you. And he amplifies the test more and more each time. It says, so like you go back, study to show, study to show thyself approved unto the most high, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right. You, you need to be rightly dividing the word of truth as well as, you know, first and foremost, going into the doctrine. All right. And as well as rightly dividing the word of truth, being able to have precept upon precept, remembering uh, uh, the scriptures and having them uh, within you, all right? Because we're not going to have this, the scriptures with us, all right, in the time of this great test, all right? The Lord is building you up for the time to come now. You need to be studying these practice tests that the Lord has given us. Let's jump to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brethren... Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the most high. Okay. What's the whole armor? All right. It's this truth. All right. The scriptures. Okay. These, the, the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding. This is what's going to uh, 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 keep us. All right. All right. And, and our faith as well. But it's going to keep us. All right. In that time to come. What's that? Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall, shall be that stability of thy times. Okay. Hey, man, the scriptures is right here. All right. Because in that time to come, these scriptures are going to be coming in our head. Okay. Going back in Ephesians 6 in verse um, 10 again. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the power of his might. All right. Having that sure confidence, having that 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 faith all right knowing that the lord's gonna always come through when you call upon him all right it may not be at the, the right second that you need him to come but he's always gonna come right on time put on the whole armor of the most high that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil see esau's getting ready to come with a lot of trickery all right he's not gonna play fair he's getting ready to come with all the shit all right when this time come all right so if you don't got this truth if you don't got this wisdom knowledge and understanding in that time you through all right for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places this is some high level uh, 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 things that's getting ready to come upon this earth. All right. This is high level beings. 
all right? High level energy, frequencies, all right? That we're around all of this, okay? It's in the music, it's in the food, it's in the water, it's in your toothpaste, all right? This what, this 5G on the phones, all this, we are wrestling against all different types of spirits, all right? Esau Edom and all his enchantments, all these different things as we're, we're fighting all these things right now, all these temptations, all right? These are tests, okay? It says, against the rulers of darkness of this world, all right, these elites, all right, their think tanks and all the stuff that they're doing to destroy Jake. But like the scripture says, there is no enchantment against Jacob. All right, it says, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Meaning, you studied to show yourself approved. You examined yourself, all right? You constantly uh, 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 was indulged within the scriptures. You was always praying, all right? You was always asking the Lord for gifts. You was always asking the Lord to build up your faith, all right? For these times to come, all right? To, for the Lord to send these tests your way so that you can be able to pass, all right? To have you built up for this time to come. Okay? It says... Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High. All right? This has to be within you in that time. It says, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. It's going to be bad times that's getting ready to come. All right? Let me get there right quick. Let me find my other apocryphal. All right? All right? Let me get one quick point here in the book of um <clears throat> in the book of second Ezra 14 just one point all right because it ain't nothing but just straight um distractions out here man all right and these things all right are the different devices all right that Esau Edom has out here all right, that Satan has out here. These are the wiles of the devil, man. His trickery, okay? And the people, they, they a lot of, hey, everybody's falling for it, all right? I'm gonna start here. Second Ezra 14 and 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. Let all this shit go, all right? Be more in the spirit, man. And this in these times to come, to, hey, be more in the spirit. All right, because the Lord's getting ready to start throwing more tests at us each day. Speaking to myself first and foremost. It says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. All right? Get your mindset uh, already. Get your mindset built up, all right, for the times to come. They're talking about lockdowns, all right? They're talking about those who have not been, you know, vickied up, all right? They got to be a uh, uh, lockdown inside their homes, all right? Jobs probably going to enforce it more. You're going to lose your jobs, all right? Probably lose your place. You probably could possibly lose your kids. Hey, man, this is the time we getting ready to enter into, all right? Have you been uh, 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 girded up, all right, in this truth? All right, have you truly been praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Have you truly been in the scriptures? All right, it's going to be it's going to be shown in that day. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. It's a man, the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, all these things is getting ready to hit, man. Okay. The hour of temptation. The Lord's getting ready to try the whole earth. There was another script that came to my mind, but it just escaped me, man. It, hey, Lord willing, it comes back. Um, Let me go back in Ephesians 4, and let me finish off in 13 again. It says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, 
that ye may be able to stay, withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Okay? You got to be ready to have done all. All right? What you have... Uh, 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 Salak. Yeah. Having done all... No, Salak. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Okay? Having all... It's a lot. Having done all to stand. All right. And that's a heavy point. You did everything that you could do. All right. So that the Lord could be able to have you in that time. Okay. He seen that you were worthy. All right. You called upon his name. All right. You did everything that you were supposed to do. All right. And the Lord is going to come through. All right. In that time. All right. That we are quickly approaching. Okay. The hour of temptation. All right. Whom has the Lord ever forsaken whom he uh uh whom uh ever have called upon him? Just roughly paraphrasing. All right, you can look all throughout the scriptures, it's no one. Okay. Oh, that's what it was. First first Corinthians three. Let's get that right quick because I had mentioned it. All right, because I said uh you know, you're going to be seeing some people get caught with their pants down in that time. Um, this is the book of. It has to be First Corinthians. Come on, it's the book of First Corinthians chapter. Three. Verse 10. According to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me. All right, this is the time of the grace period. Okay, we got to take it serious. All right, the Day of Atonement was just what, uh, two days ago. Okay, and like the brother was going into yesterday, hey man, hey Lord willing, you know, the Lord has covered you. You got a clean slate. Okay, don't add more sin to sin. That's what the brother Barat was going into. He was like, hey, man, we still in the grace period, man. This, hey, man, offend less. Be more in the spirit. All right? Because, hey, man, this, hey, this shit coming, man. All right? So it says, according to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me, all right, to the hopefully elect as well, it says, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another buildeth thereon, but let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Okay? Take heed how you're building right now. Okay? For other foundation can no man lay that is laid, which is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Now if, now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, and stubble, all right, silver, precious stones, gold. These are precious metals. All right, these are uh, uh, things that went through the uh, the fire, went through a lot of testings. All right, and they came out to become very precious. Okay, but then you have wood, hay, and stubble. All right, these things are are, are, are things that they they burn on an instant. Okay, these things they burn right up. All right. And you don't want to be that uh, uh, that type of person to be burned up when all this hell breaks loose. It says, every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it. The day that we can ready to enter into the days that we in right now, the evil days. All right. It says, for the day shall declare it. The day is going to declare your works. All right. Have you been a uh, uh, study? Have you been examining yourself? Have you been truly in the scripture? Have you truly been crying unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? It's going to be made known. This day, these days that we enter into are going to declare it. Okay. The scriptures talk about, um, I forgot which in the chapter. Uh, was that Matthew? I believe it's Matthew. I believe it's Matthew. But it says, how, uh, how many offenses shall come? Many people are going to be offended. All right. They didn't, they didn't take heed. They didn't take heed to the time that this time that we're approaching, man. 
They thought it was all giggles. All right. Kiki and laughing, thinking it was all a joke. A hangout spot. They didn't take it. They didn't take the Lord serious. They didn't take any of the tests that the Lord gave them serious. This day or, uh, that we entering into is going to declare it, man. It says, every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Mm. It says, if any man's work abide, which he have built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. All right, that reward is what? Yahawabashim Yahavashai, all right, coming through for you. All right, taking you and saving you throughout the midst of all the chaos that's getting ready to happen. All right, ultimately up until the uh, the point of salvation. Where am I, 20 minutes? Okay, so lucky. It says, um, verse 15, if any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved yet so by fire Let me read that again if any works that's a lot if any man's work shall be burned all right the people who didn't take it serious he shall suffer loss all right um what's that is the parable um it's in matthew and it says and how the winds uh beat up upon the house and great was the fall of it that's going to be the people who didn't take the test serious, who didn't take the the, the practice uh, 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 test serious. All right, because we're coming into the final exam, man. All right, and if you don't pass this, uh, this exam, all right, you're going to fall. It's going to be a great fall. So it says again, it says, if any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. All right. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth within you. All right. You gotta be the hey, how about Shimmy Abishai is dwelling within you. All right. So you gotta take this serious. The Lord is supping with you, and you gotta take heed to the Spirit, man. All right. But hey, if you at to the point to where you like these other people out here and you get burnt by fire, you're gonna suffer a great loss, man, because you didn't take heed until you howl by Hashem Yahweh Bashai. But it's gonna be others, all right, the Lord is gonna deliver through that fire and they're gonna be saved, okay? And that's what we entering into, man. And you can obviously see it, man. Um, I had other scriptures, but you know, for time's sake, I gotta get ready to go back in for lunch, but. I mean, they go back in for work, but hey, man. Hey, the time of testing is coming. All right, it's a time of testing that we got to take serious. All right, speaking to myself first and foremost. All right, because we getting ready to be tested upon on all levels. All right. Uh, what was that? Having done all to withstand in the evil day. All right. So, hey, do all that you can. All right. Before this time come, because it's going to catch everybody like a thief in the night. All right. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwatium. I want to give our honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you, sincere, and you hopefully let scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I am your fellow servant, Malachia. Shalom.